This is David's sling, part of Israel's missile defense system and one of the most advanced in the world. It's tracking and then shooting enemy missiles out of the sky before they can cause any harm on the ground. The same technology behind this can also be found here. There are six small cameras high in the rafters of every NBA arena, and they helped change the way basketball is played. In 2005, Israeli scientist Michael Tamir started a company called SportView. The goal was to apply Tamir's decades of experience in advanced optical recognition and missile tracking technology to live sports. They took the optical sensors and algorithms and cameras that allowed defense systems to track missiles through the air and started using them to track soccer players on a field. By 2008, SportView was acquired by the US company Stats. The cameras track the position of all 10 players, the ball and the refs, 25 times per second. That adds up to millions of data points each game, crunched by an algorithm and beamed back to the coaching staff. The system is sensitive enough to tell a pass from a dribble from a ball touch. This development was a literal game changer. There have been statistics in basketball from the beginning, but they could be painstaking to compile by hand, and traditional box scores, while easy to track, didn't tell the full story of a game. With the advent of the SportView system, teams had access to the richest data set ever almost instantly. We have an ability to really map out things that we couldn't before in the game beyond just points, rebounds, and assists, uh, which I think has a great, great future. The most visible changes to even a casual fan the game is a lot faster and involves a lot more three-point shots. The data from the cameras underlined the value of playing fast. It showed that the sooner you could get across half court, the more points your team could average on that play. The faster you play, the better quality threes you get. The three-point shot became more and more of an instrument. These generalizations that you need free throw shots at the rim and threes. Shots at the rim and threes, that's clearly the way that analytics has changed basketball. The game has changed in a less visible way too. When the Rockets hired data whiz Daryl Morey in 2007 as their general manager, it was seen as an unconventional move. Now, a standard part of any team is a data science operation. If you can get more interesting insights out of the data, you can translate those insights into wins. The first six teams to adopt the cameras also happen to be the six teams with the most wins in the last 10 years. But Data Ball has its haters. I'm not worried about Dale Moore. He's one of those idiots who believe in analytics. Does analytics yes, belong in the oh. NBA? Stop telling me about three-pointers and all that. You know what, just play. And there's some worry that following the data is leading teams to attempt a lot of threes and miss a lot of threes, which isn't exactly thrilling to watch. The Rockets missed 27 consecutive three-point oh. shots. But most experts say the game will keep evolving and ratings are up. The regular season ratings are at a five-year high. Game seven of the conference finals between the Cavaliers and the Celtics is one of the highest rated games ever broadcast on ESPN, and the NBA has broken its attendance record for the fourth straight season in a row. Next time you watch a game, remember those six tiny eyes in the sky watching with you. Thanks for watching. Hit the comments section with your hottest take on the state of basketball, and we'll see you next time.